first competitor advantage of Amazon is that it is a highly efficient cost structure that allows the company to charge low price than its competitors. What can do so? How, how can do so? By using its leverage power of over vendors, that is, future low cost contractual arrangement, aggressive pricing algorithms to continue being profitable at the reduced margins. The second one is offering a fast and cheap, cheap delivery service. Strategically place the warehouse, advanced software in inventory management, and using algorithms and so on. How the degree of adaptability is a key competitive advantage. Amazon started with just books and music. It has the diverse speed to offer nearly any products. In addition, Amazon has a wide credit card base in markets such as US or Europe. Limited pricing and productory pricing has as objective to build this competitive advantage in Australia. The first purchase automatically reduces the consumer in this credit card base. In the graphs, we can see e-commerce companies being the incumbents because of the importance of their expansion. However, similar conclusions also apply to the traditional brick and mortar retailers. Looking behind me, orange highlighted is e-commerce companies and green traditional brick and mortars. Both brick and mortars and e-commerce platforms rely on third party logistics to deliver products. This makes their variable costs larger than Amazon as they must pay profits to their 3PL every unit producing costs. However, while e-commerce platforms enjoy small fixed costs, traditional retailers have larger fixed costs such as rent. Therefore, brick and mortars are in a worse position to compete against Amazon because they have larger ATCs. Price set by the incumbent means that brick and mortar retailers can only make a small profit and have no chance, almost no chance competing with retail, e-retailers such as Amazon. Well, in these both scenarios in the long run, Amazon is choosing its optimal level of capital. However, in the first one, the incumbent fields haven't uh, optimized their costs enough. So when Amazon chooses its optimal uh, price, uh, it is still below the ATC of the incumbent firms, so they will have to exit the market. However, in this one, the incumbent firms have like optimized their costs enough. So if Amazon chooses, chooses the profit maximizing level of price, it is still a bit above the ATC of the incumbent firms, so they can make still a bit profit and continue operating in the market. In both cases, the consumers will be better off because the uh, price, the average price of all the products will be lower than before the Amazon entered the market. However, in the labor market, uh, well, we first consider that there is a little unemployment gap. Then, if it conducts a limit pricing strategy, in order to conduct this strategy, it, uh, it will say like more output. To sell more output, it needs to hire more workers. However, it still can afford to pay the very same um, uh, wage that without the strategy, because there is an unemployment gap and this gap will be reduced. However, under a predatory pricing strategy, uh, it will sell much more units, it will have to hire much more labor, and to do so, as the gap is already reduced, it will have to pay a higher wage, and this will be in the short term very detrimental for the company. In conclusion, the more aggressive is the pricing strategy of Amazon, the more employment will be generated. And if the employment is generated beyond the level of employment where the unemployment gap is reduced, the wages will also increase. As Amazon enters the Australian market, overall consumption is forecasted to increase due to the higher product variety and convenience offered by Amazon. This will stimulate economic growth, impacting the federal budget through increased GST and company taxation revenue, which narrows the budget deficit. Although, as consumers substitute from local e-retailers to Amazon, this loss in revenue could decrease GST and counteract the previous effect. Furthermore, Amazon's use of limit and predatory pricing strategies will increase aggregate demand and overall quantity of sales. This will stimulate greater demand for workers, increasing labour above the profit maximising levels. As a result of higher employment, income taxation revenue will be stimulated in the short run for the duration of these pricing strategies, therefore also narrowing the budget deficit. According to the prediction, Amazon's entry will submit the investment in the retail sector. However, its dash bottom will disrupt supermarkets industry as it is very convenient. Uh, moreover, Amazon will be a hard competitor for the 3 pr com uh, companies. Last but not least, Amazon Global Selling will boost export and import. 
making it easier for small business to sell abroad and a quick rise result.